Hey guys, Dustin here, CEO of 630. Today I'm going to introduce you to one of our newest e-bikes, the Reach Your Destination 500 watt electric bike. Stick around. All right guys, so today I'm gonna to introduce you to our newest electric bike, the Reach Your Destination 500 watt. This is the commuter hybrid style bike. We make it in a standard bike and now we have it in a 500 watt electric bike. This frame is great if you're going longer distances, you wanna commute, or if you also like speed, it's designed with thinner tires to roll easy and hit some really good top speeds. So today I'm gonna to walk you through a little demonstration, show you the bike, and also give you some measurements on the bike. Now, if you can see, the frame is actually the same. We don't have, there's a men's and a women's distinction based on color, but the frame is actually the same between the colorways. It's this beautiful sort of one connection top tube that runs through the entire frame. Very symmetrical, uh, nice to look at if I don't say so myself. So I'm gonna pull up the Navy version here and show you a little bit more about it. So, one thing you'll notice on the Reacher Destination is the frame. We've smoothed out the welds here to make this piece a beautiful continuation from here all the way through here. You don't see a lot of bikes that have that kind of smooth welding. Usually you're gonna see the weld marks. It just adds a little bit something here that makes this bike really, really pop. Now, the other thing that makes this bike kind of stand out, I'm gonna throw my helmet on, or makes this bike really great, is it's also an ergonomic riding position, even though, um, even though it's a very sleek looking commuter style, it's still ergonomic when you sit in it. So, um, and just to point out, we have some of our bags featured on the Navy version. We actually have bags now that max the accent colors and the frames of our black, cream, navy, and teal bikes. So we've got some of these on here showing you how they look. So I'm gonna throw my leg over. <clears throat> now, this is not really a step over style frame. Um, we have other e-bikes that would be better if you're looking for a step over. Um, again, this is more, a little more geared for speed, but you can see now that I'm sitting here, I'm in a completely ergonomic position, very comfortable. Um, not much tension on my body. I don't have to lean forward too much. I'm five foot 10 um, and it's a great ride. So in terms of the actual electric portions of the bike, uh, if you want to come in for a little bit of a close up, I'll show you some of the elements here. Might be a little bit easier to show you on the black version if you want to come over here. So battery in the rear, battery is easily removable. You have the keys here. You can just put the key in the side. Oh, actually I can get it on with it still connected and pop it out. And the beauty of this is you can take the battery with you inside and charge it in your house um, and then put it back on. So if you lock your bike up somewhere, take the battery indoors with you. If you're riding to work or groceries at a store, it's really easy. Or you can also charge the battery when it's on the bike, totally up to you. But you can take it with you. You just feed it back onto the track and click it in and pull your key out and you're in business. Now, up here, you have your display. I don't know if, can you see that? Yep. Okay. So it's a little bit hard, but um, you've got your battery life, your miles per hour and your pedal assist. So it's got five le levels of pedal assist, uh, one being the lowest assistance and five being the highest amount of assistance. And so you determine how much you want the motor to work. The other thing, if you've come over here, you've actually got a throttle and you can do this and have it be um, fully powered with the throttle. These are class two e-bikes. So the throttle will take you up to 20 miles, 20 miles an hour or pedal assist up to 28 miles an hour. And it's simple to operate the pedal assist while you're riding. You've got the controls right here on your um, thumb. And um, the other beautiful thing about this bike is if you want to have it in zero, you can actually take this down to zero and you can ride this bike like a normal bike. And I'll do a quick demo here for you and I'm going to show you, I'm going to take you out and we're going to go up a hill. I'll show you how easily it will, it'll tackle that. 
All right, so I'm fully mounted up here, ready to ride. I've actually got it in zero. Um, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> if the camera can see, I'm in zero, just to prove that I'm not, uh, I'm not lying to the camera. And I just want to show you guys how easy it is. Now, with the thin tires, this is an aluminum frame, very light for an e-bike. I'll just go ahead and show you how easy it is to ride this as a normal bike. And again, yeah, the thin tires make it super fast, super easy. Um, I'm 5'10". I really like this bike. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a, one level up. Okay, now I'm getting one level of pedal assist. And Nate's on a tricycle <laughs> trailing me, so unfortunately I'm gonna be getting a little bit more speed, but. Once we go down out of the parking lot here, I'm gonna accelerate, show you guys the full capabilities. All right, I'm gonna to come to a stop here. All right, so I'm gonna put this up to pedal assist five because that will dictate how fast my throttle is gonna go. And I'm just gonna go from a dead start and use the throttle now. And I'll call you, I'll let you know how fast I'm going. So I'm at six, seven, eight, nine, 13, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19. I just hit 20. So I'm 220 pounds from a dead start. Um, went from zero to 20 in, you know, four or five seconds. Wanna pull up next to me? All right, now we'll just go into pedal assist. I'm gonna back it down to about pedal assist two. And that's, you know, even at pedal assist two, I'm not doing that much work, so we'll put it in one. In one, I can really feel like I'm doing some work. All right. Now we're gonna go up this hill here. You wanna get a shot of the hill? All right, so. We're going to go get positioned on the other side of the street, and then we'll show you how we go up the hill. All right, here we are. We're positioned for the hill. Get a good shot of that. This is a pretty steep and long hill. I just want to show you how easy it is. So um, here we go. I'm going to use the throttle just to get going. And if you want, so again, I'm 220 pounds. I'm just doing full throttle. Now watch if I just start pedaling. It's really like I'm barely doing anything, and it's getting me up the hill. I mean, I'm, I'm literally, I don't know if you can see from behind, but I'm barely touching the pedals. You can see I'm just kind of putting a little bit of downward force and you can let the motor just get you up the hill. I can tell you right now, if I didn't have pedal assist, that I would not, I'd be way out of breath. I wouldn't be able to do this hill without being very, very winded. Um, without pedals, so. And we made it. And I'll just pull off over here. So, you can see the 500 watts really can do the work for you. In particular, the thin tires, there's not a lot of drag. Again, if that was, if I was doing that under my own power, I'd be very out of breath right now, but I really didn't even exert myself. So if you're in the market for a commuter hybrid electric bike, 500 watt, the Reacher Destination is a great option. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to email us, the team at 630.com or call us 310-982-2877. And don't forget, take the body fit quiz on our website. Our proprietary algorithm will ask you a few questions about your body and your life, and it will recommend the perfect bike for you. And don't forget, we have a 365 day return policy on standard bikes and a 90 day return policy on electric bikes. We wanna make sure you love your bike. Lastly, join our community and download our app, the Facebook Pedalers Group and the Pedaling, 630 Pedaling app. You can join the community and the group 
ask questions, see how others are riding their bikes. It's a great place to get information and also share photos of your bike and see how others are using their bikes. On the app, track your rides and be a part of the leaderboard. It's a lot of fun. So thanks for sticking around. Don't forget, it's your journey, your experience. Enjoy the ride.